We're Alex and Marco the Vaca Brothers, and this series is about new Nordic cuisine. We'll be traveling across three Nordic capitals, exploring the culinary revolution that's turned this region into one of the most dynamic food destinations on Earth. Along the way, we'll be meeting locals, nice meeting you guys. eating, drinking, and having a great time. Hope you're hungry. In episode six, we're on the water in the Finnish archipelago. Good morning, everybody. We survived last night's cray cray crayfish party. Now it's a beautiful day. We're gonna go sailing into the Helsinki Archipelago on a two-masted ship. We're joined by Heidi, the local food blogger from yesterday, and Tuomas, a uh, local entrepreneur with a really cool business idea. Let's check it out. Tuomas, everybody, Hello. this is Tuomas. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, and welcome to Helsinki. So tell us about this, this business you got. You got a food truck on a bike, basically, right? Yeah, so we're serving Karelian pies with different toppings on top of a bullet cargo bike. Karelian pie is a really traditional Finnish snack that is made of, you have like rye base and then rice on the top. Usually it's served with egg butter. Food trucks have been really popular lately. Why did you decide to do this on a bike instead of a truck? I cycled from Copenhagen to Helsinki and had five days time to think on what kind of business to make on top of the bike. And this is what we came up with. That's great, I'm starving. This is like breakfast of champions right here. Mmm. Good hangover here? The best. <laughs> Can I get like five more of these, please? Easily. Uh, this is a beautiful example of Finnish, new Finnish food because remember yesterday we said that what makes Finland different than the other Nordic countries is that it's kind of where East meets West and Karelian uh, pies come from the area that is really close to Russia and used to be part of Russia. So to see it like this with avocado and salmon served on a bike, it's kind of like the new East meets West and it meets my mouth right now. Wow. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really been on sailing ships too much. It's definitely really cool and I kind of feel like Pirates of the Caribbean right now. But Marco is kind of the sailing brother, so I'll let him tell you guys about his past experiences. I wasn't really much of a sailor, I was a deckhand, but I was on a motorboat. This is a sailboat, which is a bit different. I still have a dream of trying to sail around the world on a sailboat. And Alex, if you're down, I think we should have a bag with an adventure. Let's do it. It's super fun. It's just cool to be on a tall masted ship in the middle of the Baltic Sea exploring the archipelago. What about that, guys? Would you be interested in a Vaga Brothers around the world sailing trip? That'd be awesome. way to Lona Island right now, L-O-N-N-A, -N -N -A, which is um, back in the 40s was a place where they used to clear ships for mines because like this area is really strategic, like as we said, it's between Sweden and uh, Russia. And that island right there, Swamalina, was built as a fortress. By the Swedes. By right? the Swedes and then later taken over by the Russians. And anyways, at Lona Island there's new restaurants recently been opened to the public. It was a military base for a while. Okay. How are you feeling? Are you, are you hungry for some more food? I feel amazing. It's like a perfect sunny summer's day. We're on a sailboat and we're gonna go eat at another delicious restaurant on an island. I really don't think we could ask for much more. So we're at Lona Restaurant, which is on Lona Island. It used to be a military base. It's about a kilometer and a half off the shore. It's only like 150 meters long, uh, but a local top chef star, Yoni Rakkainen, has started up his own restaurant here, and it's looking like it focuses on seasonal produce. So we're gonna see what's on the menu. It's definitely got great ambiance. and have a nice little summer meal here on this island. Hello. 
Well, they must be doing something right in this country because these little girls here are six and eight and completely fluent in English, Finnish, and Swedish. And this guy, he's like three and he can already say hello. Hello. Yeah, that's hello. Bon appétit. That's what you're going for first. I think I'm going to have some of this salmon. It's amazing. Save me them, some though. Come saw on. saw them in there. They were glazing it with a blowtorch, so you know it's going to be good. And then these carrots look amazing. I'm a big fan of garbanzo beans. Also, that steak over there looks like it's been cooked to perfection. I think everything just looks superb, so I'm going to eat it all before you finish filming. So are these, are these pretty typical dishes, or is this something a bit more innovative? I think definitely this is something that is more innovative and I think they're really nicely using all these super fresh ingredients so it looks great. Well that little feast was delicious. Super healthy and the right proportion of meat to vegetables in my opinion at least. We're about to hop on a ferry, head back to Helsinki and make our way to TubeCon. TubeCon, and uh, there's a blob. I want to go on the blob. I'm probably going that way. That would be yeah. Yeah. This is like more intense than VidCon. Way more crowded. We're having a meetup. Finland, we love you guys. You're so awesome and so good to us. So definitely fun to meet you all. Say hello. K-I-I-T-O-S? Yes. Alright, well, the meet and greet is over. Thank you guys so much for coming out, for those of you who did. And uh, now the evening is going to take another interesting turn. We're going back out on the water, but this time we're going in a sauna boat. Because that's the thing. Saunas are so popular in Finland, there's like basically one for every Finn. They're almost in every house, and in this case, they're on a boat. So we're going to go float around. Floating it. sauna. Well, how do we make today even more awesome? We get on a boat that has a sauna on it. So the plan is we're gonna like go out through a scenic tour of the archipelago, then anchor the boat, be in the sauna, and then take a fresh dip in the ocean because after the sauna, you always gotta jump into cold water. It's all about going hot to cold, hot to cold. And today it's hot enough outside. The water is probably a little bit cold and the sauna is piping hot. Plus, we have hot sausages to grill, some salmon, and we have some cold craft, craft beer. beer, which we just love. So this is going to be a nice way to round out the day, and after this, it's a flow festival. Let's do it. Keep 
Peace, brother. Cheers. Woo. Well, that was amazing. I feel completely refreshed and ready to go. So the night's not over yet. We're gonna head over to the Flow Festival, which is a music and food festival on the other side of town, and go listen to some live music. Let's roll. We're just walking over to the festival now and it's in a kind of a cool part of town and the concert itself is actually right next to a big power station so there's a big lump of coal on the ground and then the concert right next to it. Tomorrow is when um, Florence and Machine and Beck are playing uh, but there's some cool names tonight. I think we're just gonna go check it out and have some fun. Eat those. Another amazing day in Helsinki, Finland. And uh, we just got to Flow Festival. We're gonna chill tonight and we're here all day tomorrow. So tomorrow's video is gonna be all day Flow Festival. Yeah, we also have the restaurant day tomorrow, which is like pop-up kitchens all across the, uh, the city. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Vagra Brothers for travel videos every week. In the meantime, remember to stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you guys on the road. Okay, moi moi. Peace. Oh, this you crazy mother.